hi guys and welcome to my channel well if it's your first time on the channel please endeavor to like and subscribe for amazing content like this well on today's episode we'll be looking at construction of different angles on one straight line and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel ring the bell to get notified when i post new videos so for today's video we'll be considering um angle 15 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees 120 degrees 135 degrees 150 degrees uh, 180 degrees we're constructing this nine angles to one straight line right. so the best thing i'll do is that i'll Let's make that this way straight. I will choose to call any point. Call here A and call here B. Now I'll start with constructing angle 90 degrees because it's kind of much more easier. So we'll start with this. So I'll pin my compass at B, elongate to A, but naturally it must actually touch A, but at least it should pass half of the distance, give it a um, reasonable distance. That you can cut up. Don't shake a compass. Stick in it here. Cut down. Pin at A. Cut up. Oh, you did not cut across. But down, cut across. So I'm going for B. Alright. So having done this, I will then join these two points. Alright, so this will be our. 90 degrees so let's go ahead and construct 45 because it's kind of more easier to construct 45 from 90. so i'll place at this point let's call here c place here this at c reduce the compass a little to distance that falls between a and b and i'll construct a semicircle Okay, I'll call here Z, call here E. So I'll place that Z, elongate to E, cut an arc up, place it at E, then cut another arc on it. So I'll join this to the center. This will serve as our angle. 45 degrees all right so i've done 45 let's go for 60 60 i'll call okay no let's leave it that way so i'll get back the radius of this arc the radius i used to draw this arc okay get get, get the radius back and i'll place a d and cut an arc on the semicircle and then that arc I cut will be like our point of focus for our 60 degrees. And I will draw a straight line. This is automatically 60 degrees. So let's go for 30 because half of 60 is 30. So for, for, for that of 30, we'll call here F. So I'll pin at Z, elongate to F, cut an arc up. I put as F and cut the arc. The point of intersection will serve as our reference point for angle 30. So this is 30 degrees. So um, we're done with that. 30. Let's go for 15. Because that's half of 30. So I'll call here. G. So I place that D, elongate to G, or maybe I can make it more bigger. Cut an arc. Place it on G. Intersect the arc. And I will join. Okay. 
15 degrees. All right, so we have done 15, 30, 45, 60, 90. Let's do that for 120, 125, 150, and 180. Now for 120, it is the same way of constructing 60 because 60 and one. If you look at your protector, you can see that wherever you have 60, you have 120. Okay, so the same way you can construct 60, you also construct 120. So with the same radius of our semicircle, our plane, okay, let's call here H. I'll pin at H, cut an arc, and then the arc will be our on the reference for angle 120. Mind you, you can either go clockwise or anti-clockwise, it's the same thing. That says anti-clockwise or clockwise, I'm going anti-clockwise in this direction. So all my angles are counted from this direction. So this is 120 degrees. Let's do for 150. Since 30, 30 and 150 lies on the same piece in the protector, that means I can construct 150 using the mechanism of using 30. So let's go here. I. So I'll place on H, elongate to I, cut an arc. It's an I, intersect the arc. And then. This will be angle 150 degrees. So I don't have for 150. And let's look for 135. Now if you check, this is 45. And it's also on 135. Okay. So we'll use the mechanism of constructing 45. So I'll place on H, elongate to E, cut an arc up, place on E, cut that arc. And then I will join. To give us or serve as angle 135. Then it's meaning 180. Remember, angle on the straight line is equal to 180. So automatically, this is 180 degrees. So this has to construct different angles to one straight line. But there is something that you need to know. Please take note. Did you want to learn how to construct rare angles? Like, you know what I mean, rare angles. Angles that you never thought. That it could be constructed like 22 and a half, 37 and a half, 67 and a half, and go 75 degrees, and go 105 degrees. That it seems impossible to construct. Now, let me show you how to construct. I will drop the description of the link of the video on the description part of this video. You can click on the description part of the video and click on the link and watch how to construct these rare angles, and then you can learn from it. All right, thank you guys for watching today's video. Be sure to subscribe to, to our YouTube channel. Give us, a, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And please make sure you say something in the comment section. Please, very, very important. All right, thank you. And see you in the next episode.